Good morning. And welcome to this service of Holy Communion. Today, the church celebrates and remembers Augustine of Hippo, who was a teacher of the faith. Augustine was born in North Africa in the year 354. His career as an orator and rhetoric, oh, I can't even say the word, led him from Carthage to Rome and from there to Milan, where the imperial court at that time resided. By temperament, he was a passionate and sensual young man, but he rejected Christianity. Gradually, however, under the influence first of Monica, his mother, and then of Ambrose, who was Bishop of Milan, Augustine began to look afresh at the scriptures, and he was baptised by Ambrose at the Easter Vigil in the year 387. <coughs> Not long after returning to North Africa, he was ordained a priest and then became Bishop of Hippo. It is difficult to underestimate the influence of Augustine on the subsequent development of European thought, and a huge body of his sermons and writings have been preserved to this day. Augustine of Hippo died in the year 430. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Together we pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God chose us in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. So let us confess our sins and our failings, and ask him who is rich in mercy for forgiveness and peace. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our name, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with heartfelt repentance and true faith turn to him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the collect for Augustine of Hippo, and I'm going to use the Welsh collect. Merciful God, who revealed yourself to your servant Augustine as the light of the minds that know you, the joy of the hearts that love you, and the strength of the wills that serve you. Grant us to know that we may truly love you and so to love you that we may fully serve you, whose service is perfect freedom in Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Going to have our first reading. reading this morning is from John chapter 4 
verse 7 to 16. As long as we love one another, God will live in us. My dear people, let us love one another since love comes from God and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love God can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us, and his love will be complete in us. We can know that we are living in him, and he is living in us, because he lets us share his spirit. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him, and he in God. We ourselves have known and put our faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love, and anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today's psalm is taken from Psalm 84, and the response is, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord! How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord! My soul has a desire and longing to enter the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord! The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, for they shall always be praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart is the highway to Zion. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, You are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all students. And do not call someone your father on earth, for you have one Father who is in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you shall be your servant, and all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but those who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. So let us pray. The Lord our God listens to the needs of all his children. So let us make known to him our prayers in quiet confidence and hope. Father, we pray for all who work through the power of Christ in the church today, serving the needs of the poor and healing the wounds of injustice, division and materialism in our society. We pray for the elderly, the sick and the lonely among us. They may receive comfort, companionship, and care from those around them. 
We pray for those who have been persecuted or wronged by others, that they may experience warmth and the love of Christ, able to forgive those who hurt them. We pray for members of the church, that we may humbly admit our failure to meet the needs of others. We pray that the Christian churches in this area may grow together towards unity of faith and witness to the values of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for all Christians we may seek the kingdom of God before all else. We pray for those who are distressed, whether in body, mind or spirit. We pray for ourselves, that we may seek more energetically to work with the Lord in establishing justice and peace on earth. We pray for those who are considering getting married and those who are being married shortly, remembering especially Paul and Amanda, who will be married on Sunday at St. James. We pray that they may remain loving and faithful to each other in good times and in bad. And we pray for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially those whose names are written on our hearts at this moment. And we remember especially today, Margaret Dickens. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Father, we pray that when we are discouraged, we may find strength in the signs of a loving and faithful God in those around us. We pray for the trust and openness to give our hearts and lives to you, as Jesus did. We pray for those who have lost hope they may find the joy of your Holy Spirit within their hearts. We pray that we may be a sign of love to all who we meet today. We pray for the souls of those we have loved but no longer see. Those who have gone before the veil of this mortal life. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace and rise in glory. We thank you, Father, for all that you have given to us. In your love, grant what your word has prompted us to ask for. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Do turn around and share peace by nodding or looking or smiling. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven we may find a voice to sing your prayers. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord, for as a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts in your divine presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Augustine of Hippo, and all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. 
Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom, help us to lay aside all foolishness and to live and walk in the way of insight, that we may come with Augustine to the eternal feast of heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Just a little reminder that next Sunday, the Sunday the 6th of September, so not this week, next week, is our patronal festival here at 9.45 in the morning on Sunday. And you are all very welcome to join us. We have the new Archdeacon of Croydon coming to preach and um, the choir of St Mary's will be singing. So that's uh, a wonderful thing, although we can't sing ourselves. So do put that in your diaries. There'll be plenty of space and there'll be chairs in here and there's Plenty of chairs, as you can see out there, enough for everybody. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.